Hello again everyone, Rich DeMarco here with a preview of the 2012 Army-Navy game presented by USAA coming up on Saturday at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. This is the 113th meeting between the Black Knights and Midshipmen, in a rivalry that dates all the way back to 1890 and for the 84th time, the city of brotherly love will be the site. The storyline this year is that by virtue of both Army and Navy defeating rival Air Force, for the first time since 2005, the winner of the Army-Navy game will take home the Commander-in-Chief's trophy, signifying football supremacy among the service academies. The Black Knights come into this game with two victories on the season, but boast the nation's top rushing offense, averaging nearly 370 yards per game on the ground. Army has two 1,000-yard rushers for just the second time ever, quarterback Trent Steelman and running back Raymond Maples. Maples is just the third Black Knight ever to gain 1,000 yards in a season multiple times, while Steelman, who currently has a string of five straight 100-yard games, owns several academy records, including most rushing touchdowns, breaking the mark held by the great Glenn Davis, for more than 60 years. Defensively, Army has been led by senior Nate Combs and sophomore linebacker Jeffrey Bacon. Bacon currently sits seventh in the nation, averaging more than 11 tackles per game, while Combs, who's battled injuries throughout his career, is among the nation's leaders in both sacks and tackles for loss. Navy, meanwhile, is 7-4 and four and headed to the Craft Fight Hunger Bowl in San Francisco. While Army's Trent Steelman is on track to become the first modern-era Army quarterback to start four times against Navy, the midshipmen saw their season turn around when they looked to a freshman signal caller, Keenan Reynolds, who led Navy to a win in relief on the road at Air Force and has since won five of his six career starts. The midshipmen are rushing for 285 yards per game, which is good for sixth in the nation. In addition to Reynolds, who's gained 585 yards on the ground, the midshipmen have seen an explosive season from G.G. Green. The slot back has run for 750 yards with an astounding 7.2 yards per carry, which is on track to set an academy record. Green, Reynolds, and fullback Noah Copeland have combined to score 16 of Navy's 25 rushing touchdowns. On special teams, Navy has gone with a freshman kicker, John Sloan, who's made 44 of 48 kicks, while the Black Knights have turned to his senior, Eric Osteen, since their last game against Temple. A victory, of course, for both teams would be historic. Army is looking for its first Commander-in-Chief's trophy since 1996, while Navy is looking for the trophy for the first time since 2009, as Air Force has been in possession of the CIC for the past two years. The festivities, pageantry, passion, and patriotism of an Army football game truly is second to none. And this year, you can follow America's game like never before on Twitter at Army underscore Navy underscore game. On Facebook, Army Navy football game. YouTube Army Navy football game, Pinterest Army Navy FB, on Instagram Army Navy football game, and on Tumblr Army Navy game. And of course, the game is televised by CBS beginning at 2.30 and across the Army Sports Network. It's the 113th Army Navy game presented by USAA on Saturday at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia with kickoff just after 3 o'clock. Enjoy the game. I'm Rich DeMarco. Go Army, beat Navy.